Thank you for tuning in to another episode of WGC Fits. Today I am joined with Captain Ballspeed, and we are going to be talking about the differences of between um, just your basic Project X shaft and your basic dynamic gold shaft. So, two shafts that are very much uh, played right on tour. Two shafts that are used quite a bit in fittings, especially for kind of your bigger swingers. Um, we're just going to talk about kind of some of the differences between them and kind of see see what they are. Take it away, Captain Ballspeed. What are we hitting first? So we got the Dynamic Gold X100, of which I've never ever used. Never? No. I mean, I've tried it. You've but tried I've it. I've never been on. Never, track. never played it. No. I have played it. I was told it was too soft for me. It's it's a it's a weird shaft because it's heavy. Very heavy. It's got it, it, from a weight profile perspective, right? We're talking about weight in the bottom, which is okay. Yeah. Um, in all of those kind of quote unquote low launch, low spin shafts though, depending on delivery, obviously, everything is delivery dependent. I find it to be a little bit on the spinnier side, often when compared to some of the newer stuff that's in that low launch, low spin category fronts. So is that why a lot of pros play this on tours for the spinny, on those it's hard, fast greens? Not only that, but tour players often don't change things unless it's really good, yeah. right? Um, for example, even even after kind of trying things that are new, right? They'll often for tournaments go back to kind of what they know, oh, yeah. just because it's what they know. They've been playing it since they were 12 years old, yeah. you know. So yeah, I mean it's that tried and true classic that's been around for forever, and that definitely has something to do with why it's used so often because it's got some real pedigree to it, you know. Yeah. So let's see, hit some in. All right. All right, first feeling, it's a little heavy. Yeah, it's going to have some weight at the bottom. Because it's the weight's like down here-ish? It's, it's literally in the club head, basically. <laughs> and we're, wait, we're playing this with a Mizuno 241. Okay, yeah. Set up, it's just a traditional blade. A little bladey iron. That way there's no uh, bias with club heads, I'd like to think. Hmm. It kind of does this. You can feel that, yeah. Like you said, it, it's got, it's definitely got a little move to it, right? Yeah. At, at least from a feeling perspective. Um, now, it's not actually doing that. Kind of like breaking down and, and lagging on you, right? Like I said, it's plenty stiff, um, plenty stable for you. But one of the things that's very interesting is I would argue that one of the modern things that's happened with steel shafts is weight distribution, yeah. right? And that is where things have, in my opinion, changed, and in some cases for certain types of deliveries, improved across the board from a fuel perspective, yeah. right? So, you know, we're both playing a shaft that's, you know, just as heavy and stiff as this, right? Except it doesn't the feel like that. The weight's more up here. Yeah, doesn't feel like that at all. Yeah. So, just again, a little bit of a different take, a little bit of a different perspective on how to kind of make something work. Well, so far, it feels 11. okay. Yeah, I, I I actually think, like at impact, I actually think these feel really nice. And I've always thought that. I've always thought that, you know, at impact, the dynamic gold old school kind of profile does have a nice feel to it. Yeah. I just don't necessarily like what the swing feels like. You can take it off normally. Okay, we'll keep it there for you. I mean, I don't know. Is that going too high? No. Is I the mean, height up there? Again, yeah. Numbers are pretty good. And again, it, 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 Do you it, want the landing angle more, though? I wouldn't mind seeing it, but I'm not against it. Okay. Right? 44, 45. Spin. Yeah, 44, 45. With this, the thing that I would kind of project, it didn't read the spin rate on that one, right? But you're going to get that kind of lower trajectory, slightly higher spinning kind of shot. Yeah. Right? Again, which one's better, which one's, you know, worse? That's That all depends, you know? I mean, it's pretty accurate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that one. And the other thing that is kind of nice about it right now, obviously, again, we need to spec this whole thing a little bit differently for you because that is a little spinny. Yeah, 77 is um, too much. It should... 
be something because you do have access to, let's say, maybe a touch more spin. Should be something that you'd be able to shape pretty easily if you wanted to. Yeah. That's also another thing everybody has to realize, right? More spin equates to potentially the ability to almost kind of work the ball a little bit. You but know? doesn't it also hold its line more with more spin? Again, if if struck neutrally, right, and everything's kind of going down right at target, yes, right? Yeah. Spin is going to help it have a little bit of a larger aerodynamic kind of window, if you will. Yeah. Um, but that same thing being said, when we kind of turn and twist that face just a touch, right, trying to work the ball, it'll also help in that regard. So, Very smooth. Not boardy. Definitely no. not boardy. I would say, and argue especially compared to who we're about to hit it next to. That's a lot of spin. Yeah. Not exactly for you, but... <laughs> Close. Let's switch it up. Let's go Project X here. Okay. All right. So we're switching it up to the Project X shaft, right? Yep. Six this five. is another one where, again, at this point, I would almost kind of argue that's kind of an old school kind of profile, right? Yeah. And where this one was kind of, let's say, originally brought out and targeted was if you were the guy who was playing the old school dynamic old profile back in the day and found that it did get a touch on the spinnier side, let's say, right? You bring this guy out because this one's definitely going to feel, or at least it should feel, a little bit more boardy, I guess, the okay. best way to put it, right? Now, it now, is it lighter, smidgen? Touch lighter, right? Five grand. Honestly, it might even be a little less than that. Okay. It's, it's right in there. Um, if it, the weight feels more here. Right, and that's the main thing is this one's not going to have all the weight just in the head, yeah. right? The whole profile for Project X, in my opinion, is is relatively stiffer feeling, right? Yeah. Um, slightly stiffer feeling profile, slightly lighter weight comparatively. Okay. So that's kind of the main difference when you're looking at the two. Right. Um, Performance-wise, right, again, not bad. And again, not that this doesn't feel good. I actually think this feels nice as well. It's just a matter of difference, yeah. right? So let's see how it compares. Same club head. Same everything. It's, Let's see what you got. I just practice swung it, and it feels lighter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's because the weight's more up here, not down here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Playing with that center of gravity. You mean the balance point on the shaft? All right, give me one more to warm up. <laughs> you got a couple to warm up. I mean, that wasn't a bad miss. No. Yet, I would argue it's a pretty big change feeling wise going from what you're Very. to this. There we go. Did it go a little lower or the same? It might have been a little higher. Let's find out. Uh, the same. Very similar. So it spins a little less, only by a hundred. Well again on average, right with that one, you, you hit that one quite nicely. So I would expect this with a club that's got a loft that's maybe a little bit more kind of where you would be because you yeah. typically play lofts a little stronger. Yeah. Um, we would see this kind of basically right at seven. Yeah. Where in the equivalent kind of setup for the dynamic gold for you, and again, this is just specific to your delivery, I would expect to see the dynamic gold around 72, 73. Yeah. That was a good one. There we go. I like that one. Now, I don't know the numbers when comparing which one of these is played more. But uh, I know that old. many, many, many major championships, for example, have been won with both. Dynamic Gold has played a lot more. A lot more? Okay. Yeah. I just like to hit a little right with this one. A little bit stiffer feeling. Right? Yes, yeah. I can't rely on the shaft to close it a bit. No, and that's a very good point, right? Often when kind of doing fittings, right, we yeah. often kind of rely on stuff from the shaft to help in regard to that. So you got to do a little more work. Yeah. I'll so give them describe to everyone the differences you have in feel here. Definitely more boardy. Mm -hmm. Like just all around stiffer. I can't feel it doing this. Does it feel 
harder or does it just feel a little It feels stiffer? lighter, but it's stiffer. Mm -hmm. But that's only because the balance point's up here. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like you can still control things like trajectory and flight? I think so. Yeah, there you go. Now we figured it out. That's better. You just got to get through it. Yeah. Commit. It's a commitment thing. Yeah. <laughs> that's pretty good, though. Yeah. And, and again, and that's kind of where I would expect to see... You know, need to be with just a bladed at, iron. Just at face value, you know? Yeah. And now we got it. All right. There it is. Just like we would do in a fitting, right? We got you locked in at five of club, yep. right? And we can kind of see some of the differences that you would kind of expect to see in something like this, right? Yeah. So with the dynamic gold coming in around a 44 degree landing angle, we have around 133 speed. Right, and you're around 7,700 spin. Yeah. And two notes, you're at 98.6 club speed. Yeah. And that one did, that was the one that did feel a touch on the heavier side. Yeah. When we compare, club speed goes up a touch with the Project X, landing angle goes up a hair. I want to say stays height stays the same, yeah, because launch was adjusted. And then spin was relatively similar. So not too different in terms of what's going on except for you're kind of noticing and experiencing one the weight yeah. and then two just how different they feel from a spin perspective yeah you know um again both are great shafts and if you're someone who's swinging an iron you know a, a little bit on the, the quicker side let's say these are definitely shafts that you should try because you know it's been around for forever for a reason yeah. it's tough to beat them so any closing thoughts mr Ian? i like both they're both good, right? If you guys are interested in either of these, come see us. We'll get you fit up. Thank you for watching, and please like and subscribe. We'll see you.